Well, good evening and welcome. Uh, what a wonderful venue. It's exciting to be here with you, everyone, today. I wanted to uh, take a moment uh, to introduce uh, the school board. My name is Greg Dowell, chairman of the school board, and we have some uh, dignitaries as well that we'd like to rec recognize. Uh, on behalf of my colleagues, I'm honored to be with you all here tonight. Um, my colleagues who are on the school board, if you, when you hear your name, I just ask that you stand and then remain standing. Uh, Ms. Sarah Ortigo, our vice chair. <laughs> Dr. Dr. James Beers, parliamentarian. <laughs> Ms. Julie Hummel. <laughs> Ms. Andrea Donner. <laughs> and Ms. Kim Hundley. <laughs> Again, welcome to uh, the 2023 Teacher of the Year celebration. Together with other local elected officials, we partner together to serve our community. Thank you for the support and for joining us tonight to celebrate the excellence of our school division and our educators. If you could please stand as I call your name uh, to our dignitaries, representing us in the U.S. Congress, Representative Rob Whitman. <laughs> State officials here this evening, Senator Monty Mason. and Delegate Amanda Batten. <laughs> Joining us from the James City County Board of Supervisors, Vice Chair Ruth Larson. <laughs> Mr. Jim Eisenhower. <laughs> Mr. John McGlennon. <laughs> and, uh, County Administrator, Mr. Scott Stevens. And then representing the Williamsburg City Council, we have with us Mayor Doug Pons. <laughs> Vice Mayor Pat Dent. And Ms. Stacy kern -Shearer. We also have with us city manager, Mr. Andrew Trivett. Thank you for being here with us this evening to celebrate our teachers and educators. I'd also like to thank our gracious host, Colonial Williamsburg. The art museums of Colonial Williamsburg are such a gem and right here in our own backyard. And we're honored to celebrate our school division's finest in such a dignified location. Finally, I'd like to introduce to you Dr. Owen Heron the superintendent of WJCC schools. Dr. Heron. Thank you, Mr. Darrell, and good evening, everyone. Welcome. It is a distinct privilege to be with you this evening as we recognize the outstanding work of our Teachers of the Year. Celebrating our teachers' contributions is one of the greatest joys of my job. You will be introduced tonight to the best and brightest our division has to offer, an already high bar that these honorees clear with ease. Gathered tonight, we, get, we recognize two groups of educators, our Rookie Teachers of the Year and our Master Teachers of the Year. Our rookies are energetic and eager, excited to learn from each other with their students and colleagues. They're excited to implement new strategies and techniques and reflect on and grow their craft. Our master teacher honorees draw on deeply forged relationships, adaptability gained from navigating new and diff different challenges, and a repertoire of strategies to engage even the most reluctant learner. As superintendent, I am extremely proud of the dedication and hard work of each of you. Your commitment to our students, your colleagues, our community, and the profession is exemplary. While they soon will be called up individually, let's first recognize this whole group of educators. <laughs> I'd also like to recognize all previous teachers of the year present this evening. If you were a past teacher of the year, please stand at this moment of time. <laughs> 
Tonight we also celebrate the support we receive from our community. Having exceptional educators is more meaningful with a steadfast, passionate wave of support uplifting our work. We are privileged to have the WJCC Schools Foundation at our side as supporters and partners in serving our community. In addition to their years of spurring new classroom initiatives by awarding innovative learning grants, the WJCC Schools Foundation became the title sponsor of the Teacher of the Year ceremony last year. I'm deeply grateful to the Foundation for, the continu for continuing in this role, and I'd like to invite the WJC Schools Foundation board members to please stand and be recognized as I call your name. As a signal of their steadfast support, the Foundation is well represented here tonight, and I would ask you to please hold your applause until all names are called. Stephen Felker. Alyssa Harrison, Julie Humble, who also represents the foundation as well as the school board, Grayson Moore, Penny Pooley, Bud Robeson, William Sleeth, Jenny Sneed, Jill Trott, William Turner, Amal Amanda Ulysney, Jenny Van Wicklin and John Wells. And finally, Michael Willen, who is also the PTA Council President. Thank you very much. Thank you again for your support and for being here this evening. At this moment, I'd like to invite Ms. Penny Pooley, Chair of the WJCC Schools Foundation, to come forward and share a few remarks. Ms. Pooley, thank you. Well, thank you, Dr. Heron, Mr. Dowell, school board, everybody. Um, hello, all you public school advocates and public school employees in the audience. We on the WJCC Schools Foundation Board of Directors stand in awe of teachers' special superpowers. Oh yes, you know it's true. Teachers have superpowers. Like doctors, like doctors, they are lifesavers, but instead of medicine, they give knowledge. Like coaches, they are completely excited to stand on the sidelines and enjoy the thrill of others achieving their victories. Like a pastor, they forgive students' mistakes and turn them into opportunities for learning. Teachers do all that and 15 other things at once and appear calm and collected. Oh yes, teachers have superpowers and we are in awe. Today we celebrate the recipients of the Teacher of the Year Awards, but we also want to take this opportunity to celebrate all teachers. Those of you who are honored here today will be role models for the other teachers in your schools, and your display of pride in your profession will be contagious to them. We on the Schools Foundation congratulate you and ask that you please accept the medallions, the polo shirts, and the monetary awards as tokens of our sincere appreciation. We hope you will proudly wear the shirt and conspicuously display the medallion as encouragement for your colleagues and as confirmation to all those who enter your classroom of your superpowers. Thank you and congratulations. <laughs> Dr. Heron. In 2019, our division launched a new award to complement the Teacher of the Year honor. WJC Schools remains committed to the retention and celebration of high quality staff. So tonight, we will name a new class of rookie teachers of the year to recognize the outstanding performance and superior instructional skills among teachers in their first year of the profession. As I call the names of these teachers, I ask Dr. Heron and Ms. Pooley to join me in presenting each teacher with a token of our appreciation. Teachers, please remain on stage until all honorees have been called.
from Bright Beginnings, Ms. Heather Ratz. From Clara Bird Baker Elementary School, Ms. Isabel Scruggs. From J. Blaine Blayton Elementary School, Ms. Connie Visoki. From James River Elementary School, Ms. Emma Jones Presley. From Laurel Lane Elementary School, Ms. Natalie Maines. From Matoka Elementary School, Ms. Olivia Nice. From Norge Elementary School, Ms. Christine Kroll. From Berkeley Middle School, Ms. Kristen Prescott. From James Blair Middle School, Ms. Michelle Cressida. From Lois Hornsby Middle School, Ms. Silky Maxey. From Tueno Middle School, Mr. Micah Mason. Excuse me, Miss Micah Mason. No worries. Thank you <laughs> for your graciousness. From Jamestown High School, Colin Anderson. And from Warhill High School, Jacob Noble. Our Rookie Teachers of the Year 2023. On behalf of the school board, it's a great honor to celebrate the accomplishments of teachers new to the field, and we look forward to their contributions to the WJCC schools community for many years to come. Thank you to all of our rookie teachers again. Now I'll hand the mic back over to Dr. Heron. Thank you, Dr. Heron. <clears throat> Well, how wonderful to see all those brand new teachers excited doing such a great job in our schools. Thank you, Mr. Dahl, and congratulations again to our Rookie Teachers of the Year. Our Outstanding Teachers of the Year elevate public education beyond excellence. They champion our students and their families, our communities, and education across the state. It is their efforts and their dedication that shape the students of today and the leaders of tomorrow. To get to know our Teachers of the Year a little better, please turn your attention to the screen. Um, what inspired me was my grandmother was a teacher, right? So I saw the impact that she had on our little community. I'm from a teeny tiny town, so anytime we were out and about, people would come up to her and tell that, and tell her and us, right, how much they they loved her and what a great time they had in her class. So I saw the impact that she had, and uh, that inspired me to to go into teaching. Something that makes me happy 
is when my students from different countries, so I've got students from Moldova, students from Afghanistan, students from Central America, and yesterday they were here in my classroom and they were translanguaging. They were using each other's languages, they were trying to translate things, like they are, com like the world is in my classroom. Um, I love to be outdoors. I love to like go outside, whether it's just like a walk or go to the beach. Um, I play adult kickball. So um, that's always something fun to do, but I just love being outside. Like the summer is my favorite time of year. My job makes me happy. I love seeing the light go off in kids. Um, I have lots of kids that come back and visit me. And in the mornings they will come by my classroom and I, I really get a lot of joy from seeing that and being here and being around them. If I won the lottery, I would turn our school into a castle and it would be Disney World here every day. But don't worry, we would still learn. I would probably start a theater company for like a, a youth theater company. And so I would still do this, but I would pay myself. I would move to Hawaii because it's beautiful and relaxing and I would dog sit for people. For sure, I would buy a beach house. I would move as fast as I possibly could to the beach or near the water, somewhere warm, somewhere where it does not ever see snow. If I could go back and live as an adult in any decade, I'd choose the 80s. I always wanted really big hair. Favorite way to start the first day of school? Definitely with a super cute outfit. <laughs> Um, I love to bring like color and fun into my wardrobe and so that's definitely a good way to start the first day of school. And then always end the first day of school with ice cream. So that's not really starting it, but I always start the day knowing I'm going to end it with ice cream. If I could go to dinner with anyone dead, alive, or fictional, I would go to dinner with Beyonce because I absolutely love Beyonce and I would love to meet her and I would love to tell her about all of my students. Jane Austen. I would love to go out with Jane Austen. I think she is a fabulous writer. Um, she had such a uh, grasp of society that still resonates today. I would probably go to dinner with Abraham Lincoln. I have so many questions to ask him about why he did what he did and um, as a person, just kind of uh, some of the hardships that he endured um, and how he could write that, you know, the Gettysburg Address in such a short amount of time. I think people are somewhat surprised at what a huge football fan I am. And I really kind of get into it. Might even teach my preschoolers a l the little chant. Um, but yeah, they might be surprised about that. My advice to a first year teacher is to give yourself grace. Um, you're going to you're going to make mistakes. It's it's going to happen. You'll continue to make mistakes throughout your career. It's all about learning from your mistakes um, and doing the best that you can. You just have to keep pushing because there's going to be those days where you want to give up, and there's those days where you feel hopeless and you feel like you're drowning. And it does get better eventually. But yeah, that's you just got to keep pushing. The advice I would give to a first year teacher comes from uh, a military experience I had. I had a supervisor who had a little rubber duck on his desk with an Air Force uniform on it. And I asked him, what's the deal with the rubber duck? And he explained, look, you're going to have 10 number one priorities, and they're all going to be due yesterday. You're going to have a lot of different stressful experiences in the military, and you just have to be a duck. You have to do your best and let the stress roll off like water off of a duck's back. So that's what I would share with teachers, new teachers, be a duck. It's so wonderful to meet the people as well as know they're absolutely wonderful teachers because they're serving our students every single day. As Ms. Wiggins pointed out, I think we all look forward to something at the end of the day to cap off a first great first day. Well, for me, it's Cadbury's chocolate. And like Mr. King suggested, sometimes we all need to be more like ducks. I'm sure our rookies have lived and learned some of these tips and suggestions offered by our wonderful Master Teachers of the Year. Thank you so, so much. It is now my pleasure to introduce WJCC Schools 2023 Teachers of the Year. 
Mrs. Pooley and Mr. Dowell, if you'd please join me again. Uh, teachers, as your name is called, please join us up front to be recognized and remain on stage until all honorees have come forward. Right. From Bright Beginnings, Sarah Clark. From Clara Bird Baker Elementary School, Caroline Fincham. <laughs> From DJ Montague Elementary School, Catherine Tai. From J. Blaine Blayton Elementary School, Elizabeth Hoffman. <laughs> From James River Elementary School, Roxanne Gray. From Matoka Elementary School, William Geese. <laughs> From Matthew Whaley Elementary School, Kylie Johnson. From Norge Elementary School, Analia Wiggins. <laughs> From Stonehouse Elementary School, Carolyn Estes. From Berkeley Middle School, Amanda Fay. From James Blair Middle School, Patrice Lombasta. It's a long road from the back, <laughs> but we're, we're getting there. From Lois S. Hornsby Middle School, Matthew Sanderson. <laughs> from Jamestown High School, Jennifer Roman. And from Warhill High School, John King. <laughs> Among all of these deserving building teachers of the year, three exceptional honorees were chosen as the WJCC school's level teachers of the year. Our high school level teacher of the year is from Lafayette, <laughs> Kerry Moore. A 
lots of steps, absolutely. Our middle school level teacher of the year is from Tuano Middle School, Michelle Dana. And finally, it gives me great pleasure to bring forward the Laurel Lane Teacher of the Year, the Elementary Level Teacher of the Year, and the WJCC Schools Division Teacher of the Year, Ellen Frackleton. <laughs> On behalf of WJCC Schools, I would like to thank each of you for your commitment to excellence and for the contributions you make in and out of the classroom each and every day. Thank you. I think we're just on a picture interlude and then we're not quite finished yet. There's still more. We got our pictures? Yep. Oh, yep. Excellent. Thank you very much, Teachers of the Year. I invite our Teachers of the Year to take a seat, all of course, except for Miss Frackleton. <laughs> Ellen, I'm going to invite you. Ellen, I'm going to invite you to the podium to say a few words to our distinguished guests this evening. Ms. Bradford. So um, I will just say I am much more comfortable doing professional development about vocabulary and fluency instruction than I am doing something like this. So please bear with me. <clears throat> Thank you, Dr. Heron, for this recognition. I want to start by congratulating all the other teachers of the year throughout WJCC for being recognized for your service and leadership. Being recognized within our buildings by our colleagues who know our work best is humbling. This award is not a recognition of myself as an individual, but rather a recognition of the Laurel Lane School community. I am deeply grateful for the collaboration and dedication of the administrators, teachers, staff, families, and students at Laura Lane. I'm a better educator because of you. I would also like to thank the administrators throughout WJCC who have really encouraged me during my career here. Mike and Angel from CBB, Karen, Deanna Nelson, and Connie while at Laura Lane. They recognized qualities in me and encouraged me to grow professionally. Karen, thank you for trusting me with the leadership of the literacy program at Laura Lane. And thank you for allowing me to support teachers with new practices. <sighs> Lastly, I would like to acknowledge my husband, Will, and our sons, Johnny and James. They are the best parts of me. And their support allows me to accomplish what I do professionally. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ellen. You, you know, we teachers are, are always more comfortable in front of a classroom, but what a great job speaking about your colleagues and, and, and administration in your school who are such partners with you every single day. Congratulations again to our WJC School Teachers of the Year and to all of our teachers and rookies this evening.
Before we join, adjourn for refreshments, I want to recognise the people in this room who were not called out on stage, but who helped make, make it possible for our rookie and veteran teachers of the year to shine each and every day. Family and friends, we know that school days are long and school years fly by. Thank you for sharing your loved one with our students. I appreciate you. Colleagues and principals, whether you push the teachers of the year along or get out of their way so that they can shine, <laughs> I'm grateful for your support and thank you all principals for being here this evening as well. Thank you again to the WJCC Schools Foundation for sponsoring this event and honoring our teachers. And teachers, congratulations and a heartfelt thank you for all you do for our students, families and learning community. Refreshments are now available upstairs. If you exit the auditorium and return to the main entrance, you can't miss it. If you didn't leave breadcrumbs along the way, because it's a long journey in, uh, we'll have central office staff along the way to help you to navigate. Thank you so much for being here, everyone, and have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Thank you.